Okay, so we're going to start off with the easiest uh, power armor location on the map. Um, so you got the Vault 76, and you would just head towards this area here called Morgan Town Train Yard. So you can basically come anywhere in that area and just follow the train line all the way up to the top. If you've been here before, you're going to come in at this location here. Okay, so you're going to get some scorch in here. They're pretty easy to take, take care of. I'm using the Tesla rifle. Okay, so let's check, take him out. Gonna make sure, get rid of all these. Okay. It's good. Otherwise that happens. Right, okay, so. The spawn points are going to be more or less in the same place. Sometimes, ah, oh, there we are, there it is. So that's the T51 for this one. Um, and all you best could do, if you've never been, been in a power arm before, um, you've, there's a couple of things you have to do. So you can got, you got to enter it. Now, if, you, if I go down now, uh, press the down button on the D-pad, you can see that says T51 right arm. Um, and if I try and enter this one, if it doesn't allow me to enter it, that means it's a higher, um, it's higher level than, than I am. Okay. Now, if we just take a look at it, you can see there it's level 30, this one. I'm level 1000 odd. So, but you, this is going to need a particular level for you to be on. So if you, if you're level 29, you won't be able to access this. Okay, now what you can do is you can actually, I can exit this and I can basically just go and I can do the transfer one, which is X, and I can take all the pieces, leave the fusion core in, and then with it being an empty chassis, now I can enter that because this is just level zero as you can see there so i've got the chassis on which is like the sort of um just the main bit and after if i check how strong i am you'll see i'm only one one two two one two two and then 70 in the center of the screen so i've basically got nothing on um but i've still got a little bit um for my under um, armor things like that for you if you haven't got under armor or anything like that you're basically going to be nothing okay so now i've got the chassis on i can go looking for extra things um there's a few things which isn't going to happen um so it's not going to increase my carry weight or anything like that because i do need the other pieces but once I've got it, so if I exit it now, I've got the chassis, and if I go to here, Y to collect, that then stays in my infantry for when I do get the pieces. And what will happen is, if I do an event, um, or if I find some pieces, for example, there's some Raider power armor there that I found earlier, and a T-51, um, I found them in different places. Um, then I can put them into my power armor um, as long as we've got the correct level. So we've got to have the chassis and we've got to have the pieces. So if you're, if you're basically uh, a character right now and you've got armor on, if I was to set the armor off like this here, you would see, basically that's just me under armour. It's the same thing with a power chassis. As soon as I take the armour off, then all my um, all my levels go down. So that's jumping up now because I'm putting on more. You can see it's 298. 286. That one's broken. That doesn't make anything. Okay. So we have to have a power armor or chassis and then we got the pieces there 
Now, if we go now to um, Parama Station, we can then mess about with the Parama and we can actually set different levels and we can do different things with the power armor as long as we've got the plans. So I'm just going to go upstairs now. Okay, so you're going to need one of these power armor station. You're going to need a chassis, which we would drop into place there as long as it's there. Okay. Now at this point, it's only got a T-51 helmet in. I can either transfer stuff I've already got. For example, the Raider stuff. And I'm going to need five pieces. The two legs, two arms and the torso. And then we're going to need the helmet as well on top. Now these are ones which I picked up um, from different events. So what have I got there? Left arm, helmet, right arm, torso, leg. So I need right leg. Um, that's just, that's not a power armor leg. Okay. And once I've got plans then, I can go to craft. And then I can make um, a right leg if I wanted. For example, level 25. Come out of that by pressing B. And then if, if I go to transfer, you can see you've got excavator, right leg. Got left arm, helmet, right arm. Yep, torso. So I just need my left leg. So where's that gone? Oh, actually, I should have made a left leg. I made a right leg. So let's do that again. So let's craft, <laughs> okay, excavator, left leg, okay, come out of that, okay, go to transfer, okay, and it's come on, you see left leg, right leg, left arm, right arm, torso, helmet, okay, so that, this now has got all the pieces for me to use what's bit pretty shit I can change the paint colors if I wanted and if we just check what I'm on right now I want my armor is 486 296 by 229 and then if I get into this Okay, so I'll just check that now. It's 337, 337, 316. And my carry weight, let's um, just do it again. Can't. Let's go to that one. Can you see, actually, let me, let me, where my team is. Let me exit my team. And you can see it's 297 over 278. Okay. So for me, that's not good enough. So I would exit that. But I've got the power armor. So that's pretty good for doing things. I can make some better power armor if I want. I've got the plans. I can modify the power armor. I can repair the power armor. And... The great thing about power armor is if I jump off a building or whatever I don't die. So that's pretty straightforward. That's the basics on it. Um, if it breaks you're going to need a couple of things. You can either repair it at the station which you've just been to or we can use uh, some repair kits. So let's just go back up there. So if I wanted to repair it, 
I'll go over here. Um, you press A to exit. Okay, you do collect. And then if I go over to it now, from one. So I've got a few there, from one. You can see that one there. I put it into this area here. Click A. If I repair, I go downwards. Look, you can see there, power arm station. And we can do Y, modify repair. And we can go over to the items we've got. So we've got left leg, right leg, mutants, power armor. So that one, uh, the condition CND on the left hand side, level 30, then CND. You can press Y to repair, X to do a workbench repair. And that takes a level up then. If I go to this one, Raider Power Armor, X, and that repairs it. And the same thing for that one. Okay, so that's the five pieces. And if I go to A to modify, I can then make some legendary mods. If I've got some legendary, legendary cores and modules, if you're just starting up, you won't have them. And then I can also go to paint and paint it all the same colour. Yep. And I can go to doing mods and I can change it, put jetpack on, blood cleanser, all sorts of different things. Yep. So let's put an armor ace jetpack and do the same thing with the other legs as well. So that one we can mod to be able to carry more stuff. You can see that one at the top, plus 50 carry weight for calibrated shocks. Paint ace full and then do it with that one. Calibrated shocks. Better carry weight, ace full salt paint. Um, do it with that one. So, this one hasn't got because um, it's an arm, it doesn't have carry weight, but you can do different things such as that one, um, rusty knuckles. You can see the top, so it's just giving you different variations for mods, and then paint will do the same. And then power arm helmet. We can do different things there. We can give ourselves more intelligence, which gives us more XP. Sensor ray, which gives us more perception. Targeting. So I think I'll do a sensor ray. I can see more things then. Um, I'm going to do the ace full assault paint on this one. And the headlamp. I might do a vault boy. Looks quite good then. Right, and then this one, right arm. Um, let's do rusty knuckles as well. Standard paint. Ace full as well. Okay, so it looks like we've done left leg, right leg, torso, right arm, left arm, and the helmet. So what should happen now is we should have a better carrier weight once I get inside that, it looks good as well, even though it's got a different sort of, it's a Raider, it's a Raider and an Excavator, so I've mixed and matched the, the types, uh, so you can, do, you can do like 251 piece if you get from an event, or a T60 or a T45, okay, so if I enter that now, so my carry weight at the moment is 282 or 323, so I'm carrying 282, um, I can do maximum 323. Let's just see what this one now does now because I, I did the modifications on it. Bear in mind, you can only do the modifications if you've got the plans. You're going to get the plans from events or from vendors uh, or finding them, that sort of thing. Right, okay, so let's... Looks quite good, actually, doesn't it? Okay, and then if I go like this now... It's 297 over 378. So I can carry up to 378 items. Um, 
my defense is 325 ballistic, 325 um, energy, and then 316 for radiation. So I can go into a radiated um, place and um, still be okay. It's going to go a lot slower than, than not if I wasn't having that. Um, and then let's do the final thing. Still, we picked the jetpack. So let's do it. Ready? That's pretty cool. So I'm pretty confident now with this one, this guy. Should we um, attack him somewhere where we have a bit of a battle? It's the usual, I can't find it. Because I'm looking for something, I can't find it. Oh, there we are. So, if you look at our HP and the AP, so we're being attacked, he can handle it. That's level 50. I've got my perk cards kicking in as well there. And if we do HUD version, I've got a slightly different setting on there. If I just change this one, setting, uh, display, I think if I show HUD, let's have a look, um, I might die now, oh there we are, enable power armor HUD, there we are, that's how it should look, like just like the TV show. Do some more. That was just one enemy then, weren't it? We've got four power power cores as well. Fusion cores, sorry. <laughs> so many things on this game. Right. Okay. And then it's just. So this one, what's that? Level, le level six here. And if I do this, I can just do some rad away now. Give some stim packs. If you look at the HP on the left hand side, so I'm getting attacked by, was it two of them? Three of them? And that's what happens when you get a power arm. It's, it's good. It's. Um, it lasts a lot better. If I was to come out now and didn't have much power, uh, didn't have much armor, oh, it's four now. Is it four? And I'm not doing any stim packs there, it's just holding it, so. Bear in mind, I've got some good perk cards as well. I'll just show you them. Quite a few there. So if you're starting up, you, you'll get to this point. But this is why it's good to get power armor as soon as you can. Uh, boost up. This is only, what, level 25? Level 30? Okay. Right. Should we do it? Dead skit. Right, okay, so I've got some more spawn points as well. Um... Let's go over to them. Okay, so the next spawn point we've got is on the left-hand side of the map. You can see you've got the river all the way down. And then you're going to hit this area here, Camden Park. If you've been here before, your spawn point, you'll come into here. And what we've got um, is the Scorch knocking about. I'm going through this entrance here. You want you can jump over that you can take care of them if you want let me just get a better weapon about I 
go through here and we should find one knocking about here there we are so this one is a radar one uh, I've already got one on now so if I click on transfer and then I can take um, the right arm and the torso you can see my power armor there okay and I can set the helmet if I want um, basically I can just scrap that and if you want to keep the chassis as well you can enter that or you can basically come out of the one you're already in so I'll just do that it's telling me I can't do it there we are so once you come out of one you can collect that you can go over to this one and you can enter that one once you're entered then you, it'll stay on your person uh, or on your system until um, you exit or drop it once you drop it then uh, it's not in a second time so I can exit out by pressing A and then I can collect it and if I go to this bit, armor, I can actually drop by pressing X the uh, the chassis. Okay, right, on to the next spawn point. Okay, so I've got a consistent spawn point for a chassis, power armor chassis and a T51. Um, so what you need to basically do is get over to this bit here, which is Emmett Mountain Disposal Site. So that it's right sort of center in the center of the map you can see we've got the second uh, railway line and then you can actually follow that road all the way up there if you never found it before you can see you got there okay so once you're into this area here you will see the disposal site there okay and then you've got to go past everything here there's some scavenging scavengers in here. Might get a few ghouls. Then you go through this door. Okay. And then round here. And then through this door. You should find that it is open. There is no lock on this one. If there is a lock when you come in, just you can basically just jump over the top there. Okay, and there we are. There we've got a chassis and um, fusion core and a T-51 helmet. If you've already got power armor on and you haven't got a helmet or whatever, you can just click on transfer. And that, you can just basically take that or take the fusion core or if you want to enter this one, just click A, that'll move it in, and then you can actually wear this particular power armor on. Bear in mind, when you have got power armor on, if it hasn't got the full thing, then you're not going to be very strong. Um, you can see there, 167, 167, 97, so there's not much on there. Okay, there we are. All right, on to the next spawn point. Okay, the next spawn point might be a T60. Let's have a look. Okay, so we've got the left-hand side of the map. See the river? It's called Point Pleasant. You might have been here with the Mothman event. And if you come here before, you'll end up in this area here. And what we're going to do... Let's go here. If you've not been here before... Just look for the bus stop. Okay. And then go up here. Yeah. Bear in mind you get attacked by these cultists. Okay, and then follow it down. No, I'll be other. Okay. And then it's bugging me. Right, okay. That's this bit. If I 
one's a bit tricky. Down to here. Okay. And then down to here. And it looks like somebody's been here before um, because it normally spawns just there. Okay, so. Yeah, Ken boxes up his paws as well. So, all right. So, yeah, it's just here. Watch yourself. Check him out. These um, cultists. Okay, so that's the next spawn point. <laughs>